A few months ago, I had a request from someone on Discord who suggested slash asked that I do a reaction to this gameplay video. This was one specifically that he linked uh, me to. There might have been others, but I do remember specifically that this was one of them. And I promised that I would. And yes, it took me a while because sometimes these things do. And I'm finally getting around to it. I don't know when this will go up. And there's no guarantee that I'm going to enjoy or appreciate this as much as you do. But I have the time and it's things have, are a little bit calm around me work-wise because we're heading into the Christmas holiday. So I was like, I need to do this. I'm doing this today. And so here we go. This is for the title of this is Middle Earth Shadow of War official gameplay walkthrough video for the PS4. It's about 16 minutes long, so a little bit hefty on length, but uh, let's just see what it's about. I'm going to turn off the... How much of the game is this a walkthrough for, though? Shadow of War is an epic third-person open-world action RPG and the sequel to the award-winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough oh. takes place many hours into the game. This is from we'll show you one example Tolkien's of world? Personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary okay. nemesis system. So this is just like a promo sort to of... save Middle-earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new ring of power to forge an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment. It's crazy how advanced allies, including overlords, um, war chiefs, captains, visuals on gameplay, fortresses, strongholds, missions have gotten. Today, we're going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord. Ur Are Han, you the dragon? Lord. Are you really? Let's launch the assault. It's not only our enemies and the world that make the Nemesis system unique, it's also our followers. Rag Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The Bright Lord. I fought for you. Bled for you, and you left me to die. Forgot what year this it said was this was. Like what year this came out. Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also carries a dark curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, There's another the ring. Flames of your reckoning. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. No more Why does one side of his body do that? Earlier it was the other side that did. First objective will be to break through the main gate. I don't suppose they're going to show them failing at the mission here. <laughs> they got to show that it can be possible. It can be done. Ooh. Look like the lights flickered. I hope the power doesn't go out. I hope I didn't lose internet. Not yet. This is the power of the Dark Lord. Sounds like almost. I keep thinking he's gonna say the dark side. This is the power of the dark side.
That was easy enough. Easier than I figured it would be. With the Stormbringer defeated, okay. we've broken the curse and can unleash. Yeah. Hold on a minute. That flicker did interrupt my internet. So hopefully it will come back online quickly. I'm going to pause this because it's not going to play right now. Okay. It wasn't out very long. It's back now. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Reaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. he slow down time or something when he jumps like that? Yeah, I know these types of games are very popular, but unfortunately for me, they it's just not something I've ever been interested really to play. I prefer point and click adventure type of games like Grim Fandango, which I was playing a month or so ago. Uh, Gabriel Knight, Broken Sword. From open combat to stealth and infiltration. We've infiltrated a spy within the enemy ranks. Deadeye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank the defenders. I would have fallen like on the first few steps. Oh, he cheated death. Okay, he came back. I was wondering. I was thinking that he died way too easy the first time. able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. In Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal, rivalry, and even friendship. Thanks, Dead Eye. Is he really? Is he really dead? Nice shot. We've expanded the RPG systems in Shadow of War enormously. Defeating Stormbringer allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Is this a character from the the book? The books? Um, or any of the movies? I don't recognize him. I guess he's just maybe a new a new one for the game. That was one of the guys on his side, wasn't it? Mounting armored cavalry allows us to ride through these flames unharmed. It doesn't hurt the cavalry, the the mount you're riding on, though. That looks like Battle Cat. <laughs> Releasing and dominating the Drake lets us turn the Overlord's defenses against him. How does he transport? You've terrified like, the flame of war. Or teleport. How does he to your will? Does him shooting the arrows make him be able to go there? Compelling them to join our growing army. Now with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs. We can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort. The dragon. Walk right himself. through the body. It's time to Take what is ours. With the Nemesis system, every Overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world. And the throne room itself has been customized by the Overlord as his personal combat arena. Wait, hold on. What's that? Can you give me Levi so I can take him out? I want to eat my snack. I've got things I'm recording. I have to do the dishes. I have to make that stuff. I know. I guess this is the big boss for this level. Oh, 
these people he's or these characters he's fighting against they're just kind of standing around reminds me of um michael myers victims they would just kind of stand around waiting their turn to be killed oh battle cat to the rescue oh Okay, I guess he's a goner. Is mine! With the Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. Conquering the region rewards us with experience, loot, new followers, and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power, and our counterattacks. This reminds me so much of the Let's return to the army books that where we can review our enemies and command that we work on at Sound Booth Theater because to to a lot of them are Overlord rooted in so lit RPG or are region, basically creating an books that are based on um, RPG types of games. He will shroud the fort in I'm not a huge he fan of the genre. Attackers. This war chief is a beast master. He will Probably because I'm not a big fan of RPG enemies. games. Or more technically marauder, correct to say, RPGs. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his Interesting. Power. This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique stories players will create in Middle Earth Shadow of War. Lord. So I was going to say, I cannot imagine the level and the intensity of work that goes into making something like this. It, it blows my mind. I mean, I have, a, I do have an appreciation for the visuals and things like that. I, but these games just really like, I have zero interest in games like this for the most part. I'd watch a movie about something like this, but playing a game of it, not really, but I have well, I was going to say that I'm sure people who enjoy this this genre of of gaming, they probably really liked it. Or especially if you're a fan of Tolkien's um, Lord of the Rings books and movies and things like that. But I have no idea, honestly, how well this was received. And I don't even know what year this came out. So I don't know how old this game is. I didn't pay attention to what the date of the video was. But anyway. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of commentary to add to this video. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm glad I finally took the time to watch it. It had been kind of hanging over my head. I just, I, I would, I, I knew that I had promised and I was going to, it was just finding the time to, to, to film it and, you know, have things to say about it. And I haven't done as much filming as I used to do a year plus ago for my channel because work has just been extraordinarily busy. But anyway, glad I got this taken care of. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have much more to say about it, but I've got, there was one more video I was wanting to check out. I don't know. It's Christmas Eve and I've got things I need to make. And it's less than an hour before midnight. <laughs> so, okay. Talk to you later. Bye.